All right, guys, welcome back. This is Target. This is game two between Freaks of Nature versus Stroke. I will try my hardest not to die this video. Uh, anybody that doesn't get that joke has not seen the last video. And uh, you should definitely go back and watch it if you have not seen that. Um, I don't know what else to go over that I haven't gone over in the first game. Uh, map is uh, Bloody's Blues. Uh, I talked about the last game I castled on this map. Quad is very, very important. Uh, I obviously do not have a quad timer, so I do not know the timings or when it's going to be up. I will be just guessing. It uh, looks like we're following Cleaner at this point. He was able to grab Amp. Uh, took some damage there from spam rockets in the middle, so he had to escape. Uh, ben and Jerry's here, was able to get the flag really quickly. Um, has lots of armor, lots of health. Uh, most of his armor got chained away, but uh, he's still able to escape at this point. Uh, looks like the base is clear, and he's able to get the uh, first cap for the blue team. Um, looks like there's a couple enemies in his base. They are attacking at this point. Um, he's kind of be careful. He doesn't have any armor. Should have maybe picked up some shards. I know I say that all the time, but uh, I still think it is very, very important. Um, there is armor shards there. He's Like I said, he took one rocket there. He's very low. Uh, looks like Stan had the flags. Tried to escape base. Uh, got stuck and railed. And now uh, just sitting there. Uh, so now he's moving around. And uh, so... Doesn't have anything at this point, uh, just some armor shards, which I can never say enough about. If there's armor shards there, you might as well pick them up. Uh, looks like he's grabbing the cells in his own uh, hallway here. Uh, looks like there's a blue t player that has the quad, just kind of hanging out in the middle. Stan just kind of standing behind him. I'm not sure what that was all about. Um, looks like he's in the middle now, kind of hanging out with Disruptor Shield. Not a very good strategy, in my opinion. Uh, looks like he's heading back to his own base, maybe to play a little bit of defense. Looks like somebody may even be shooting him in the hallway. Uh, changing over to Cleaner's perspective. Uh, six health at this point, has the flag, and uh, Ben and Jerry's is able to, to take him out. Uh, doesn't it, at, at this point, it looks like uh, the blue team is way more organized than the red team. Uh, I got Freak here. He's got a power shield, 100 cells. Looks like red armor is up. Uh, I don't know what the quad timing is. Uh, I have to assume that it was Freak that uh, that had got the quad there the last time. I seen that it was a male skin. Uh, not 100 percent sure if it was him. Uh, I'm gonna say yeah, the quad's up right away. Uh, he kills the two players to pick it up, and uh, now it looks like it, nice rail there. Uh, one other thing that I forgot to mention is that uh, this match, uh, they had so many problems with uh, people getting DC'd in the first map. Uh, they decided to uh, move this match to Tasty Spleen Server. Um, that means that a lot of the players are actually going to have a higher ping except for Freak. Um, the server's in Texas, and uh, that is a lot closer to Freak. He has, I think, like about a 20 ping uh, at this point, so uh, it's going to be a big advantage for him. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to say the Freak's the best player on either of these teams, so I'm not going to say it's the hugest advantage ever, but uh, when you when all the players on the server get a higher ping except for one player who gets a significantly lower ping, you know, it, it definitely is a, an advantage. So um, I'm going to assume the quad's coming up here soon. Uh, some nice chaining there to, to take out Freak. Looks like Red Player has decided they need to get quad. Uh, Cleaner's trying to do some really there. Unable to do so, and uh, so Alpha is able to pick up the flag and amp at this point. I uh, don't know if he has a power shield or not. If he does, he's not using it. Um, so he has to kind of be a little bit careful. When you have amp chain, you don't have to be that careful, but uh, still has to be a little bit careful uh, and maybe should be looking for a power shield. Looks like uh, Ben and Jerry's was trying to grab a power shield there. I don't know that he has one or not. Uh, he might have one and, and just have no cells. I'm not sure. Uh, looks like somebody with haste is trying to do some railing into him. Has a little bit of armor, so he can take a rail or two, but uh, has to be a little bit careful because he doesn't have any red armor. Uh, that was some nice rocket spam there. And able to grab another cap, so um, blew off to a very quick three-point lead. Uh, this match obviously being way different than the last match they played. Uh, I think they started off with a two- or three-point uh, deficit at that point, so uh, good job on the blue team. Uh, freaks of nature here so far at this point. Uh, we got following with Stan at this point. He has haste, he has chain. A deadly combination, uh, you know, unless the opponent has a disruptor shield, it's going to do a lot of damage. He had that... Of course, he kills a person with Disruptor Shield as I say that, but uh, was able to pick up Quad there. Looks like he had the timing for Quad very well down. Uh, possibly should have picked up Disruptor Shield himself, uh, only having 52 health. Got to be a little bit careful. Um, Haste Chain is great, but uh, it's not going to make him survive any longer. Uh, dodges by some cells there. Uh, I think it might have been smarter to pick those up. You know, never know when you're going to be picking up a power shield, so it's always good to have lots of cells whenever you can. 
Uh, not only that, but you're taking cells away from the other team. So, um, kill it, you know, it's a double win, win-win situation at that point. So, uh, Stan trying to go into his own base here through the pipe. Uh, again, doesn't have a power shield, has 100 armor. Uh, looks like he's pretty close to 100 health. Um, runs into somebody with amp, I would say. Takes one rocket to the face and down he goes. So, uh, looks like we're following now Ben and Jerry's. Uh, from this point, I think he may have had Doc this whole time. Uh, I don't think I've seen a point where he hasn't had Doc. And every time we've spectated him so far, I think he's had jacket armor, except that first time where he ate all the chain and, and lost the red armor that he did have. Uh, I'd be very wise in trying to get some red armor at this point. Uh, looks like Cleaner has Zamp, or sorry, has the quad. Looking to attack the blue base where somebody's there at that point. I think there might be somebody maybe in the power shield room. Um, instead of trying to go on the offensive, he's just grabbing a flag and trying to maybe bring it back. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I'm not going to say that that's a bad decision. I think maybe he should have tried to find somebody with quad, maybe get some techs, but uh, if he's able to get a cap here. <laughs> and instead of trying to cap the flag, he tries to blast the flag. Uh, possibly he thought he had rockets and didn't, and it automatically switched to blaster. I'm not sure. Uh, looks like the person he's fighting here has, uh, whoa, three or four direct rockets, five rockets. Um, the person had power shield uh, with that much damage. They obviously lost all of it. Uh, I would have to say that that's Ben and Jerry's because he survived all that. I think he has Doc. I can't hear Doc, uh, so I may be wrong. Uh, Cleaner's trying to do that last little bit of damage. Has to be careful here himself. He only has 100 hit points and down he goes because of that. Uh, again, there was armor shards there. If he picked up armor shards, he would have he would have survived at least one rail. Uh, whether or not he would have survived the whole fight, I'm not sure. But uh, Ben and Jerry's is able to kill him and now uh, is able to pick up mega health and is going to try and make a cap himself. I see that Alpha chained a couple of people. I don't know if that means that he has uh, quad or not. Uh, looks like uh, Amp is down in uh, Blue Hallway. And uh, yeah, he's able to get a cap. Uh, looks like the techs are working as they're supposed to in this matchup. I watched the video uh, after my last commentary there and uh, Fraps was picking up the techs falling around randomly. I have no idea what that was all about. Uh, nice shading here by Ben and Jerry's. And so I'm glad that that's not happening in this map. So 5 nothing here, uh, 13 minutes left to play, so it's anybody ga anybody's game at this point, but uh, that is a significant lead um, to start the game out with. Uh, chasing Al Alpha here uh, has some, uh, some cells, he has some red armor, and he has mega health, so he's in no real danger. Uh, looks like he just avoided uh, possibly amp. Looks like he's maybe attacking Disruptor Shield and uh, ran into enemy uh, chain gun. Uh, looks like his teammate Freak was able to kill the enemy flag carrier, and so uh, no harm, no foul. Uh, neither team was able to cap at this point. Uh, nice rail there by Stan. Uh, so following Freak at this point, he's got 25 hit points, but he was able to kill Amp. Uh, I think I was just saying that he was able to kill the enemy flag carrier. Power Shield is not there. Uh, I don't know if he's going to try and wait for that or maybe just try and get back to his own base. Looks like he's deciding to at least go as far as Mega, picking that up. It might be a little bit cautious. Uh, decides to leave the pipe. There was somebody waiting there for him. Uh, I would say that person probably had red armor because they didn't get instantly gibbed, uh, which they should have if uh, they get attacked by Amp. And now he's doing some spamming. One super shotgun blast. Uh, nice shotgunning there by uh, Stan. Uh, Fours uh, not returning to his base with the flag. Instead, waiting on this power shield. Uh, was able to grab it. Has 100 cells. Still no red armor. Uh, and disruptor shield, so he's not bad off at this point. If he grabs red armor, he'll be in a very good position. Obviously, mega health helps a lot uh, too when you have disruptor shield. So, uh, again, somebody's waiting for him out of the pipe. Uh, I guess the uh, flight carriers are only going out the pipes because there's always uh, an enemy opponent waiting for them there. So, uh, they'll have to keep that in mind maybe as the map continues. Uh, nice shading there by Stan, protecting his teammate here. Um, I think Ben and Jerry's is the only person on the blue team using the uh, female skin. And he goes down. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, uh, Alpha is also using the female skin. And uh, that was Alpha, I guess, that died. So uh, Ben and Jerry's, at this point, has haste, has 150-ish cells, 100 armor, 100 health. Uh, not in a bad position. Uh, he's in his own base, looking for maybe Mega. It's not there. Should be trying to get to maybe the window outside of... Uh, quad and, and maybe doing some spamming. I don't know if he has a quad timer. Looks like Stan's doing some super shot getting. Maybe he has quad. And at this point, it's best that Ben and Jerry's maybe hides. I don't know that this is the best hiding spot. It doesn't really seem like he's trying to grab cells or anything else. He's just kind of standing there. Don't know what he's doing. Um, 
hanging out at uh, Railgun. Decides to grab some cells. Maybe grab... Oh, he doesn't need red armor. Uh, yeah, all he needs really at this point is cells, and uh, if you can find Mega, that'd be good too. Looks like Freak's kind of maybe trying to do a little bit of protection right now. Um, hanging out in middle. Uh, grab some cells. Maybe grab the other pack of cells he does. As I was saying, you know, even if you don't have a power shield, you never know when you're going to get one. It's always good to have cells. Um, I see both bandoliers are up. Maybe you should grab one of those. I decides not to. Um, the other thing that you're also doing when you're grabbing those cells is you're taking them away from the other team. Uh, the other team tries to grab those most nice quad pickup. Um, didn't matter, Sam is still able to chain them, but uh, very nice quad pickup. Uh, and uh, following that up, he was able to rail the enemy flag carrier. Forza is very low, does have disruptor shield, so he will survive one shot if he has to, but he's able to cap. Uh, so, nice quad pickup, but it wasn't able to do anything with it. Stan was able to chain them down long enough to get the flag return. And uh, and so, here we are. Uh, gay, I guess something is gay, in uh, Freak's opinion. Uh, nice rocket jumping there by Force. So. Uh, I usually try not to read the spectator chat, because I don't think gay really... <laughs> I hope I'm doing some rocket jumping here. Sorry guys, I'm losing my train of thought. That was that was pretty funny. Um, doing some chaining. Nice uh, rails there by Cleaner. Um, again against Ben and Jerry's. He had amp. Yeah, I was thinking those are some uh, some easy shot rails. Uh, you know, usually wouldn't do that much damage. So uh, looks like Cleaner is able to grab the cap. I think he has a power shield. Just doesn't have any cells. Has 36 uh, red armor and just over 100 health. His teammate is able to grab quad, and uh, of course the whole red team was in middle. That is the way you need to play at this point. Uh, you need to have, you know, you need to control quad. <laughs> I think Cleaner was doing some hyperblasting there last time I seen him, uh, so maybe he did not have uh, uh, power shield. And Stan goes down to uh, some rockets here from Ben and Jerry's, and then Forrest is able to grab the flag and just barely survive. He's got out, or he's, sorry, he's got Doc. Um, Grab some health and uh, has a power shield already, so he's not looking for another one. Grabs the uh, mega. Again, there's a player waiting for him outside the pipe. Uh, oh, that was his teammate this time, uh, so it's not a big deal. Uh, needs some red armor. Uh, is able to pick some up. So uh, if he grabs some cells, he'll be in a very good shape. Uh, we're following. Uh, looks like Freak at this point. He has a disruptor shield, some cells for his power shield. Uh, is able to kill one player in middle. Looks like he's trying to help his teammate get quad. Uh, his teammate goes down, so now he grabs quad. Uh, trying to go offensive with the rocket launcher. Is able to take down Amp. He should not have dropped Disruptor Shield, but he does. Um, not a wise decision in my opinion. Uh, somebody's trying to rail him here. He's very low. Has to be very careful. Um, just maybe going to try and find that flag carrier. Uh, I think the flag carrier probably took off through the pipe. And uh, his teammate just took red armor from him, so... Uh, not very good communication here by the blue team. Um, his teammate should have maybe helped him uh, by leaving the, the armor there. And uh, yeah, it looks like Freak went down by uh, some railing by Stan. Uh, Stan needs to return the flag, I would say. Um, I guess he was just kind of hanging out in the pipe. Uh, Forrest has, uh, like I said, he's still got Doc. He's uh, 160 health, 170 armor, 50 cells. Uh, could use a lot more cells, but otherwise, uh, I don't know if the cells were there. He kind of walked by the position where they would spawn. Uh, an extra 50 cells would have done him great at that point because uh, he's taken out by the uh, the blue team. And uh, there you get Doc. Uh, they get uh, Power Shield here. It's not, not available. But uh, Alpha was able to, to take out fours and grab that Doc. Had red armor. Um, has over 100 health, so he's okay, I guess, at this point. Uh, like I said, he'd be a lot better if he had... Uh, power shield but he doesn't uh, I'm gonna assume that uh, the red team has quad at this point because he's kind of hiding not trying to rush into his base doesn't want to run into quad obviously and so he's just kind of hanging out um, looks like he's just yeah still hanging out maybe he could go grab another red armor um, not sure exactly what he's doing just I guess hanging out uh, it's a rail uh, then the person with haste tried to do some chaining um, not the best opportunity for a chain, I guess, so he's not able to do that. Uh, finds a red, yeah, the red flag carrier. Maybe hits him with a rocket or two in the back. Has to be careful here at this point. Has, uh, was able to grab quad, but gets railed. Uh, nice rail by Stan. Uh, Freak is able to, I think, pick it up. Stan's still trying to do some railing there. Has amp, but uh, still, uh, Freak has quad, so he's got to be a little bit careful. Freak goes down. Stan's able to kill somebody in his hallway. 
And uh, six minutes left to play. Uh, it's five three game. So uh, good job by the red team. They will get another couple caps there. So um, looks like Stan here. I think yeah, he has some cells. He needs to pick up a little bit more. Should maybe check to see if his power shield's up, but uh, decides not to. Instead, goes in the water, grabs Mega, and uh, we'll see if that power shield was up. And it was. So, you know, headstand, grab that uh, before leaving. Uh, Would have helped his team out quite a bit. So, uh, Freak at this point has auto dock, does not have any armor. Um, so, he has to be a little bit careful here. He could survive maybe two shots by a railgun. Um, because he has 50 cells and a power shield. Uh, I think the bandolier, I think both bandoliers are up. Uh, he grabbed quad very low at this point. They know it. They're trying to take him out. They uh, do end up taking him out, but uh, his teammate's there to uh, pick up and and then uh, and then really the enemy flight carriers. So uh, good job by Ben and Jerry's at this point to uh, hang on to auto dock. Uh, that was the right decision, um, making sure that he can survive. His teammate goes down, though. So now he has to be kind of careful that uh, he doesn't get uh, amp railed. Uh, kills the enemy flag, or sorry, the enemy player. And uh, needs some armor. Uh, I say it once, I say it again. Armor shards, there he goes. And uh, so, uh, following cleaner at this point, he has haste. He can do a lot of damage to uh, the enemy player here. Uh, but he can only take one rocket, so he has to be careful there. Uh, and uh, he's able to take out Alpha, so yeah, get that amp. Uh, he's had that for a lot of this uh, game, I, I believe. It seems like most of the times we switch over to cleaner, he does have amps, so uh, he's been holding on to that pretty well. Uh, has to be careful here. He eats one rail, uh, doing some chaining. Not very accurate with the chaining, but uh, I'm going to say accurate enough. Uh, enemy quad comes up behind him. He only has one armor at this point. 59 health, that one armor's gone. Freak's missing all of his <laughs> super shotgunning, but uh, it can only last so long, so he is able to take out the cleaner. And uh, Ben and Cherries comes through the pipe, has uh, has auto dock. And it looks like he maybe hit a rail there. Somebody's maybe trying to chain him. He has lots of armor, lots of health, so the chain isn't going to be enough. And uh, he is able to cap all all the players. I think right now are in the blue base. Uh, looks like Blue is trying their best to weed them out. Two of them go down. Third one just goes down to a rocket jump there. So um, despite all that. Uh, Blue's still sitting pretty well. Uh, nice uh, rocket jump, I guess, by Ben and Jerry's at that point. And uh, now he's pulled out the chain. Uh, looks whoever he's chaining is pretty confused as to where he was at there for a good portion of this. Uh, try to chain into Disruptor Shield. Uh, doesn't do a whole pile of damage, but uh, again, it's enough. Uh, he's able to take him down, so... <laughs> I'm not sure the exchange there, uh, but uh, it ended up with uh, Stan taking out uh, Freak with 24 health and Super Shotgun. So, uh, like I said, I don't know what the whole exchange there was or how that started, but uh, that's how it ended. So, um, Stan able to grab a little bit of health, uh, some armor shards, uh, looking for the power shield. It is available, has 100 cells, but uh, still only has 54 health. Uh, <laughs> I could jump some of it away. Uh, Ben and Jerry's just doing some ridiculous rocketing, or sorry, uh, grappling around. Um, looks like Alpha is in the blue hallway, just spamming rockets, is able to kill a couple of the red players. And uh, that leads to another cap, 8-3 at this point, two minutes left to play. I gotta say, guys, that uh, I don't think this uh, match is, is uh, gonna go too much otherwise. I think uh, Blue's got a pretty good buffer room at this point. Uh, so more than likely, we will be seeing Game 3 as Stroke did win that first map. Uh, I think this is actually the first matchup that goes to the third game. And as I was saying in the last game, this is a loser's bracket. Uh, one team is going to be eliminated after all this. So it's good to see that, you know, that both teams are able to kind of go the distance, I guess you would say. Um, and so looks like Ben and Jerry's maybe lagging a bit. Uh, I think he's used to having a pretty low ping. Uh, you know, around 20 ping, and right now he's probably got a bit higher. I haven't seen, you know, I haven't seen the players' scores come up here in a little while, or if at all, and so I don't know what type of pings everybody has. I did mention that uh, Freak's probably sitting around a 20 ping, um, which is, you know, I think he usually plays with an 80 ping, so he's going to have really low ping. I think probably everybody else is probably going to have about 20 to 30 ping extra than what they're used to. Um, quad comes up. Stan's able to take down the quad player, but uh, has killed himself. And 30 seconds left to play. I don't, uh, I don't really foresee much happening here. Maybe one more cap, 
Uh, 9-3, I think it was 8-3 when I said not much was going to happen, but uh, so blue team did get a cap. It's it's over at this point. Uh, oh, we're just waiting for now, as the fat lady is saying. Um, looks like that fat lady is forged. <laughs> he causes Ben and Jerry's to rocket jump himself and gets a cap to make it 9-4. So, good game on both teams. I think uh, red team was a bit disorganized this map. Uh, blue team bit more organized, I guess. I don't know. Uh, quad is usually a big factor in these games, and it doesn't seem to be as big of a factor in this game, so <laughs> Ben and Jerry's, holy crap, we won. Spicy meatballs, yada yada. So, thanks guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.